Long-time viewers will know I'm pretty lazy when it comes to non-dinosaur fauna. While I have at least a basic understanding of the various dinosaur clades, I'm only interested in certain mammal groups, or even just individuals. One of them are the proboscideans, and the ones I find fascinating are those with some bizarre tusk configuration. This includes the dinotheres, the gomphotheres, which recently have been split into the embelodontidae and the gomphotheridae, and within elephantidae itself, cool animals like the sago tetrabelodon and a contender for the biggest mammal ever, Paleolopsidon. There is, however, an outlier that's neither massive nor awesome, nor with bizarre tusks. If anything, it's relatively small, about 70 centimeters or 2.3 feet high at the shoulder, hardly any tusks, and cute in an ugly but adorable way. This little guy here. And I wanted to show him to you as a start to reviewing the very few proboscideans I have. Now, this is the Din One Studio Miratherium. We've looked at the Didicurus before. Din One Studio produces very limited run statues, and this one measures a very modest 12 centimeters or 4.7 inches. At a claim 1 to 20 scale like Din One's other mammals, that means an adult of 2.4 meters or 7.1 feet. Now this is significantly bigger than the oft-cited estimate of 2 meters or 6.5 feet, meaning this is closer to 1 to 17 scale. Miratherium was a very primitive proboscidean, though not directly ancestral to true elephants. But there are hints of its early connections, such as a prehensile upper lip, similar to tapirs, and two large upper incisors. I believe to be semi-aquatic like hippos, it was featured in the Walking with Beasts series, much to my delight. Although they are shaped like hippos and look a bit like pigs, Miratherium are related to neither. Now this is a rather simple model, but the main features are there. We have the hippo-like body, though slightly more elongate. Then we have these tusks. As well as that prehensile upper lip, that hints at what's to come in future. Some have suggested a square lip rather than a trunk, however. Like all Din One Studio offerings, this is hand-painted in a generally hippo-like colour scheme. And even though the general colour is this brown grey, you have a sense of the depth of colour achieved only by build-ups of paint. There are areas of naked pink, such as in the belly, the throat, the face, and the trunk. Now this type of coloration is often what you'll see, though I think for this small animal, more liberties can be taken, based off colour schemes of extant animals like the taper. And here you see prehistory by Liam, a deviantart, has also borrowed from the deer as well. This is the kind of thinking that adds visual interest, expands our scope a bit, and still allows for realism. Now, by the way, Prehistory by Liam is one of my favourite DeviantArt artists and has my ideal colour scheme if they ever produce 1 to 35 Titanoceratops. Now, sculpt wise, there's just sufficient skin crease detail to be interesting, yet not over exaggerated for a small animal at this scale. on the shoulders, and on the rump. You'll also see those bumps that you see in the Indian rhino, so that's an interesting speculative detail. Just once over.
and then the little tail tucked between. And that's really it for this little creature. It's nice to have a basal form from the Proboscidean family, and these Din Wan Studio pieces are something special, even a little guy like this. I don't have many Proboscideans, but I do have a few I'm really happy with, and which I dare say will be more impressive than this little guy. Take care, my friends, and I'll see you soon in another video.